What's up guys? Welcome back to Bruce Brothers Garage. In this episode, we are tearing into the GTI. We've got some noise coming from the bottom end and it's time to rip it apart and see if we can't find where it's coming from. Stay tuned. All right, Thomas. So what's our what's our bet? We thinking rod knock? We got some real. Yeah, it's number one. It's uh, it's gonna be pretty. It'll be pretty minor. It's not spun. It's just uh, it's wiped out the the, the coating for sure. Um, so you guys want you want to zoom in? I'll, yeah. I'll walk you through it. So what this is? This is actually a two liter FSI engine with a 1.8T oil pump conversion. It got rid of the big nasty ass balance shafts that goes in there. Um, so this has been converted to a 1.8T setup. Uh, and then on top of that, if you look here, you can also see it's got a 1.8T um, flange. This is getting changed over to the Skoda S2000. Uh, thank you, um, uh, Iabed. I think I'm saying your your name right uh, for the for the Skoda setup. But um, this is the original 1.8T with the integrated engineering conversion, so it's going away. <clears throat> um, this uh, this motor is fully built right now, right? As yeah. far as the, the internals are all forged, everything's done, yep. and it was done by IE? Yeah, it was done by Integrated. And what uh, what turbo are you running right now? It's the Franken Turbo. Franken Turbo? Yeah. And that's actually what it's called. Where's my, yeah, right there. Franken Turbo. Yeah, so it's um, it's got a Franken Turbo, which uh, a lot of people, it's, it's a love-hate, it's a very controversial turbo to run on these cars, um, only because some people think that uh, the guy who makes them doesn't build a very decent turbo, but I've ran them now on three different cars, and I have really good luck and reliability only because he uses mostly factory stuff, um, and that's why I like it. So it's a it's a little bit of hybrid uh, parts, and it, looking at it, you can tell it looks just like it's identical to a KO4 hot side, um, and uh, almost identical to the factory setup. So you can run factory uh, electronics, so electronic boost control and diverter valves all all uh, factory stuff so so it's a ko4 variant okay i would say yeah so and it's a, the compressor is like k27 size it's, it's uh it's about the same size as a as a k27 what you guys would know on the older porsche stuff so okay it's, it's decent you know you're gonna get you're not gonna get much more than about 300 350 horsepower but uh, at the for, wheels yeah but for what i'm after in this car um it's, it's reliable so that's what i'm after and it's a spool monster yeah it spools really quick <laughs> All right, so let's dig into this thing here. All right, so I'm pulling the uh, I'm pulling the chain that drives the oil pump now. Uh, okay, so that sprocket's got to come out. And the goal for today is to actually pull the crankshaft out, take a look at that number one rod bearing, yep. and then are you also wanting to? Are you just miking the crank, or are you going to mic the rod to see so, if it's out around? So the crank's coming regardless. Um, I know that the the issue is is on the crank, mm -hmm. um, and my suspicion my suspicion is the fact that this crank actually was wiped when it was put in, uh, because I've macked it now a couple times and it's been uh, perfectly fine. Uh, my my fear is that now that it's had a knock in the bottom end, that um, I've actually wiped out the the rod itself. Because sounds uh, just like our Cayman engine. Yeah, uh, not too not too far off, right? Uh, it's, it's probably less uh, less abused, or I guess I should say. Whoa, less abused. whoa! There's that word again, right? Jeez. It's hey, not... but look, look what we're doing. We're using an engine stand, everyone. Uh -huh. Zach, we got some real hate about no engine stand, huh? Mm. Oh, lots. How many lots. comments do you think we had total? <laughs> Enough that we're getting an engine stand. <laughs> there was one in particular that said, "Never trust a shop that can't even use an engine stand." So. Uh, th there was a lot of hate, but hey, we were just disassembling a core motor basically. So anyway, yes, we know what an engine stand is. Yes, we have proper tools we have two sometimes. Yeah, we've got, we've got two engine stands. Both just have engines on them right now. Yeah, and we're so cheap. So now we have to get a third. Right, and that, uh, the adapter plate that goes from the Porsche Flat 6 to the engine stand, just that adapter plate's $300, and we were just being cheapskates. Hmm. Yep. Oil pump is coming off. Yep. It's that easy. All right, so we're pulling the number one yep. rod cap right now. Yep, pulling number one rod cap. Um, th this is uh, this has got really nice ARP um, bolts, so I can actually reuse these bolts, and it's kind of nice to know. What rods are in there? These are uh, the Tuscan uh, um, 
IE Tuscan rods. Gotcha. So it's uh, they're integrated engineering's. Really looking forward to seeing what this bearing looks like. It, uh, <laughs> this, uh, it's only got about, about five minutes of runtime after the things started making noise, um, and then the after drive that, from after that I let Mike drive it because I knew it was wiped right. And if it uh, if it went, it went, and I knew that. So I was gentle, people. Uh, we can we can throw the video up here. Most of you guys have already seen it, but uh, yeah, I was I was gentle because I knew there were issues as well. All right, you ready for the carnage? Hopefully minimal carnage. It's not as bad as it could be, right? And a matter of fact, if you look at the journal, the journal's hurt, right? It's, um, it's a little yeah. scored. We're gonna keep going and pull the whole crank? Yes. All so right. the entire crank's gotta come out. The final rod cap is coming off. And as always, organization is key. We numbered all of the rods. This is my little drawing of a turbo and all the boosts coming out. And then uh, the ACs on that side. So we're making sure that we're putting the bolts in the proper place where they were on the rods. And then the rod caps are numbered. So they go with the corresponding number on the rod. So those will be easy to put back in place. To lose weight. We've got the timing, well, the camshaft pulley set at top dead center. We've got the timing belt cover off. We're getting ready to pull the timing belt itself. Then we can move forward from there. Yep. That is not good. That thing is galled and destroyed. How many miles does this thing have on it? About 2,000 miles. Maybe less. Probably less. Were they, were they all track miles? No, one. I got one track event before I, I parked it, so. Now that the crank is out, we can check the bores. If we can get decent lighting here, and they all look really good. There's no scoring, no nothing. The cross hatch is there. Uh, the cylinders themselves look absolutely perfect. What we're gonna do now is uh, use what? A telescoping bore gauge? We're gonna use a telescoping bore gauge. We're going to now measure the inside of this to see um, if it's out around, how far out around, and uh, really, I just want to get a, a check to see if, if the rod's wiped out, right? And if it isn't, if it, <laughs> if is, it isn't, we're happy. If it is, this guy's going to be real set because yeah. all this crap that's on this engine's got to come off and full rebuild. Full rebuild. One inch, 990, four and a half thousandths. So now we go 90 out and do it again. Yep. And uh, you can already tell. I can please to tell you that this snap ring gauge is not having to move at all. Oh, that's great. Rod is not out of round. Rod is not out of round. Happy days. Thomas is a happy man. <laughs> all right, guys, so that's it. We pulled the engine apart, we got the crank out, we measured the rod, and all that stuff is within spec. The crank is pretty well wiped out, so no big deal. We've got a replacement crank, and we'll throw all new bearings in it and seals we'll slap this thing back together. Lots of stuff to come on the GTI. We're doing full suspension, upgraded brakes, roll cage, everything, full uh, track build. So stay tuned for all of that. As always, thanks for watching guys. See you soon.